Black culture is utterly chaos. One of them was making sexual racial jokes online. Another straight up beat someone and the police at a concert. Hey man, somebody stop that shit. When they are not recording music, some female rappers be doing the wildest things. Like back when Doja Cat enjoyed getting drunk and going into online chat rooms to cause havoc. She was seen engaging in inappropriate behavior and using racist language. 2018, El Salvador had over 3,000 murders. Ever since they locked up majority of the gang members over there, the murder rate dropped nearly 70%. If they do it in America, they do the same thing. Homie, as, 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 as harsh as this sound, man, we need another mass incarceration. Homie, we need another 1994 ominous crime bill. Like they came and they start getting niggas min minimum sentencing guidelines, mandatory minimum. Homie, we need this strictly for violent crimes and gangs. Gangs should have no rights amongst citizens if they are identified as a gang member, a gang associate, a gang affiliate. They should lose not their right to a due process. I mean, we have people selling STD lip glosses and calling it Genius. I got a lip gloss brand. The names for my lip gloss is something that nobody would have ever thought of. I got one called Nut, and it's the color of some nut. I got one called Gonorrhea. It's green like Gonorrhea. I got one called Yellow Discharge, like how girls be having yellow discharge. Oh, pink, booty hole brown. It's, we have parents exploiting their kids for money. Why, Sam? Uh. I ain't need worry about no, I hit a nigga up, leave a nigga laid out in the street. We have even YouTubers, content creators also exploiting little kids for money and views. First she was a fan of me, now you my enemy. Getting we I can't be sweet. Keep that heat on the beat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I. Do you see yourself making a song with her? Huh? Yes, okay, all right. all right. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Little RT, so today, he's gonna swipe 20 guys for his mother. I'm the matchmaker, this is what I do. So today, good luck. Hey yo, you better make the right decision, boy, because she don't play. Hey, y'all, boy. The Lord did it a bit. Open the pit, Dean's house. All right, so we got round one. Oh, we we all fresh right now. Okay, so look, round one is based on outfits. So Use. in the outfit. What have we come to? Money has ruined this whole thing. First, let's talk about Sexy Red. Now, I can do three hour long episodes on her alone, but let's get into this cosmetic line. The Sexy Red. Now, look at her carrying her lip gloss. Oh, she proud. You know what I mean? She happy she got a thing going on. And I want y'all to see the name of these lip gloss flavors, okay? This some stuff, you never gonna get into Macy's with this right here. You have to sell this in a sex shop, in a sex shop only. You ain't getting into no high-end uh, retail stores with this type of, these names on here. Look at the names, bro. Look at this. Come on, fam. Come on. <clears throat> and I guess it's on brand for Sexy Red. But hell no. Nah. I would never, ain't nobody, no parent in a right mind is buying this kind of, this type of lip gloss for their child. You gotta be grown as hell to get this. And again, it only could be sold in like sex shops or something. You ain't selling this in Macy's or nothing. Yellow Discharge, Gonorrhea, naming your lip gloss flavor after a STD, an STD, it's crazy. P 
Pee hole pink. She names it nut. Come on, fam. Come on. And I'm sure it's white coated, that lip gloss flavor. Come on, man. Blue balls. On my period, darling. What is that red? It's, I'm sure it's red. Come on, man. Now, she literally is selling lip gloss that is the name of STDs. She has one name, Nut. I think we all know what Nut is. She ha has one called Chlamydia, one called Yellow Discharge. It, I mean, the list goes on. Booty hole brown is just completely disgusting, but she thinks it's this genius. Is what I'm other people was like, you is a marketing genius because it's so, so fast. And it smells good too. I be thinking all out the box. It's not even on purpose. It's just like my brain helped me think outside the box to do some crazy it's genius. Stuff. I don't see anything genius about this. But this is the next question I want to ask. Who is this product being marketed to? Because there's not a grown up in their right mind who will go and buy a lip gloss that says booty hole brown on it. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen. So obviously we know where they're marketing to and it's definitely the little girls. Because Sexy Red's agenda is basically to turn the whole culture of our beautiful young ladies into whores. Sexy red. <laughs> yeah. And Yo, hey, she going crazy, bro. You got to give her her flowers, bro. She going crazy. <laughs> yeah, I hate her. Yeah, that's uh, uh she she she's delivering a whore spirit amongst young girls. She she's introducing. We've had a gangster spirit. The gangster spirit damn near wiped the young black males out. This whole spirit, this whole spirit is fit to do a number on the young black girl. They already got the boys. They never had focus on black girls before. The powers of being, the tools of white supremacy have never just strictly targeted black girls. They first started targeting black girls with imagery, saying black girl, you're not pretty if you don't have white girl hair. Those were symbolic things that they were doing. Now, now they're stripping the black girl of, the, the black man had already shamed the black woman's image to the world by way of rap living. Bitch, ho, suck my dick, pouring beer on her in the rap videos. So that's why Miss Dolores C. Tucker came out and said, hold up, y'all, we this misogyny music. So that's why she came out and did. She saw what it was doing. Whores. Right? That's her agenda. But now we have to think even deeper into this thing. Is this something she wants to do? Or is somebody higher than her pulling the strings? because she was on live not too long ago explaining to her audience how she sold her soul. Oh, they said, did I sell she my said, soul? Should I just tell them the truth? <laughs> <laughs> she sold it for a double cheeseburger with Max sauce. <laughs> <laughs> with extra onions on it, baby, don't play. Yo. It's time for me to just keep it a honey with y'all. Like, <laughs> yes, they got me in this shit. I don't know. I can't get out of it. I'm getting too much money. I'm getting too much money. I don't want to get out of it. That's what y'all wanted to hear. Now I'm saying it. They talk about stop playing. We just left this Hollywood party, baby. This Balenciaga party. F with Balenciaga. F with Lindsay. Lindsay cool. He cool. No, nah, what he say? Will you uh get your uh Texas? I want I, bring me Balenciaga. Bring me Balenciaga himself. Bring me Lewis himself. <laughs> hey, it was a, uh, it's a, 
bring out the buffalo. <laughs> so the, the, the bu wild, buffalo wild wings. Yep. Me and buffalo wild wings bring out the buffalo. <laughs> yes, I'm with the Illuminati. Yeah. And she said, well, she chose riches. And these elites, what they'll do is pay the most degenerate people in our culture to destroy our culture just for financial gain. So now we see the elite, they push that sexy red agenda on our little girls and they push a violent and destructive agenda on our little boys. And we see that in plain sight with the rise of Chief Keith. Around the 2010s, Chief Keith had the streets in the chokehold. First of all, let's be clear, Chief Keith is only 16, so don't be 16. in a, Oh, you're not? Uh. Why does everybody say you're only 16 years old? How old so how old are you? 300. <laughs> Since the release of his mixtape, Back From The Dead, Chief Keef has made a name for himself with his unique sound, distinct flow, and lo-fi music videos. Chief Keef is part of a generation of Chicago rappers who redefine the Midwest sound with drill music, the trap subgenre known for its gritty beats and grim lyrics. His influence goes beyond the Windy City. In April 2018, Sosa called it out himself, tweeting, do you guys love me for creating Mumble? And if you look at 2018's new wave of artists, he's got a point. I'm not gonna lie, listen to a lot of like Sosa, like, for yeah. real, for real. He, he got a big influence on the motherfucking rap game though like all this new new rap shit nigga like every every artist should be like oh, every label wanted to sign him was it because his music was so good i mean his music wasn't bad but that's not why they all wanted to sign him the reason they wanted to sign chief keith was because of his influence and the violence and destructive culture he created they wanted that to spread, and that's exactly what they did. Because after Chief Keith, you seen a drill wave like no other, spunning out the talent such as King Von. Who? King Von got more bodies than a cemetery. I was gone. Little Dirk, also Fulio, and many more. But just to pinpoint, King Von and Fulio. Ace from the west, how he clicked up with the east side. He ain't been the same since he seen them other three die. Damn, I'm two, three. Uh, and then you know he's he's is also three other murders too that uh, it looked like he would have been a part of. That's what I'm saying, man. Shorty was a bad. He was something was wrong with him. That's not human, man. You're not regular, man. This nigga was the devil, man. <laughs> that nigga was the devil, man. For mm. Real, man. That nigga was the fucking devil, man. For like. And all this shit be senseless, bro. When a nigga go back and look like nigga, yeah, he died. He ain't did nothing to nobody. The same shit. Man. These niggas ain't did nothing to nobody. Leo, we seen what happens when you glorify this culture. puzzle fall into place. The Chicago-born rapper was shot and killed outside of Atlanta's Monaco Hookah Lounge on November 6th following a reported brawl with Quando Rondo and his crew. In newly surfaced surveillance video, a large group of people are gathered outside of the hookah bar when Vaughn, dressed in all white, saunters up to another man who appears to be Quando and punches him square in the face. From there, chaos ensues and gunshots ring out just moments later. Two off-duty police officers who were working security at the hookah bar and another on-duty police officer who was also working nearby attempted to 
intervene and began firing their weapons. As Vaughn's manager and 100K Management Senior Vice President Jameson Francois explained, those shots that was fired from the individuals that shot Vaughn and myself was the only shots fired from those individuals. Every other shot was coming from authorities. They started shooting everywhere. So when you see everybody taking cover, they wasn't taking cover away from the shoot. Sure. You curate beefs and these beefs turn very, very, very violent. Rest in peace, King Von, and rest in peace, Julio. Condolences to both of their families. But now we see something even worse that is happening, and that is the rise of Little R.T. There are many more, but we're just going to pinpoint him. I've listened to Little RT music, and it is not good. It's very, very destructive. And now all I can think is, why would anyone be behind this? Well, all we can do is think about the agenda that the elites always wanted to push amongst black culture and that was violence and degeneracy and a nine-year-old kid whose mother would allow him to do this is the perfect culprit to push out their agenda because we had chief keith but one thing about chief keith chief keith was of age king von he was a grown man when he started doing this drill music fulio was grown as well but little rt is just a little kid so imagine this ask yourself this question who listens to little rt who listens to a nine-year-old kid well it's not me it's not a grown adult it's little kids so if i can get a little kid to rap drill and talk sexual in his music i can get a lot more little kids to listen to this and shape their minds why they are young it's the agenda of the elites it's a sad sad agenda all i can say is black culture we can do better the end